Um, here's just a, a schedule of uh, kind of where we are in the, in the feasibility study and where we're planning to be in the future in December. Um, so that way you have an idea of uh, where we're going and what we'll have for you when we come back. So I'm going to talk to you today about some examples of great trails from around the country and right here in New York State. Um, Building on utility lines for trails is nothing new. It's happening all across the country. Here's examples of great projects happening all over, um, from Flo the Florida Greenway to Phoenix, Arizona, to um, the High Line Trail in, in Denver, Colorado, to Iowa, uh, to Salt Lake City, to Washington State. Uh, there's trails happening all over our building on utility corridors similar to that of the National Grid right-of-way and the Creek Corridor. Um, so I'm going to talk specifically about um, two trails in Indiana, uh, the Erie Lackawanna Trail. Um, this trail is uh, nine miles long, um, and as you can see, it's, it's made of asphalt and accommodates walking, biking, and, and rollerblading. Um, and actually, the property owner of this trail is the Northern Indiana Public Service Company, and as of 2004, they actually owned the most... Uh, trail property out of any other property owner in Indiana. So you can see there's a lot of potential um, for having great trails uh, on utility lines. Um, and this that trail is actually it's similar to the Kinder, Kinder Hook Stuyvesant Stockport trail proposal in which that it's actually managed by five different municipalities and a civic group and a friends group. Um, so it's, it's jointly managed by those six organizations. And I'm not going to try to butcher the name of this trail. If anyone's from Indiana and you have any hand, that would be great. But this trail is a little bit different from the other, the previous trail, um, as it's made out of a stone, a crushed limestone. It's um, 9.1 mile, 9 miles long, and it accommodates a lot of different uses, like walking, biking, cross-country skiing. Um, and it's managed by one municipality and the same friends group. And so for a more local example of a trail built on a utility line, uh, the Hudson Valley Rail Trail. I'm not sure how many people have heard about that. It recently expanded to be 7.5 miles long to connect with the walkway over the Hudson. Um, and that accommodates a lot of different uses because it it's, has both, you see the, the pavement and a soft surface, so it can accommodate stuff like walking, hiking, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, equestrian use, um, obviously, the snow it accommodates that more in the winter, um, and it's uh, it's built over fiber fiber <coughs> lines, um, and so these are great examples of trails that are happening across the country in New York and New York State. Um, although your trail would obviously be unique, that unique Hudson Valley experience that explores um, the history of this area and the natural unique beauty of this this spot. All right, so I just want to kind of conclude now talking about some key issues. Um, on why a trail is important here and why it's important now. Um, you know, as we can see, trails being built in utility quarters is, is nothing new. It's happening all over. Um, and that's why we're here. That's why the UAlbany students are here, because we wanted to hear from you, from the community. Um, we actually have a survey to hand out at the end of the presentation that includes a brochure, um, so you can go home with a little bit more information regarding the project. Um, and it's really important that we hear from you and that you fill out the survey because we want to know your thoughts, your concerns, and your hopes for a trail um, running through Kinder, Hope, Stuyvesant, and Stockport. And there's never been more an important time to kind of invest in this infrastructure. Um, you know, as DJ pointed out earlier, um, there's never been, uh, there's an epidemic in this country. It's going to be uh, resulting from inactivity. Um, it's going to be soon surpassing um, it's going to soon be the leading cause of death in this country. So we really need to start taking actions now. Um, you know, one third of our children right now are, are suffering from inactivity, from not, uh, or health issues resulting from inactivity. So it's really important that we, we take action now and we start investing in trails now. Um, and you know, there's, there's no better time to do that. Um, it's costing New York State uh, a lot of money, 7.5 billion each year. Um, as a result from health complications, from uh, inactivity, um, and so that's why we're, we're here talking to you tonight. Um, this KSS trail could be part of uh, bigger connective tissues of trails that connect across New York State, um, from New York Harbor all the way west out to Buffalo. Um, New York State was considered the Empire State because of its fast transportation network. 
uh, from New York Harbor out to Buffalo, as I said. And this, this trail is a key point in connecting New York once again um, and giving our communities uh, infrastructure for a healthy lifestyle, for recreation, for entertainment, for history. Um, and this trail is a key point in building that, that infrastructure and that path. And I want to thank all of you once again for coming out tonight. Because um, when we talk about economic investment, or when we talk about investment, we're not just talking about economic investment. We're talking about um, the Boy Scout troop volunteering to work on the trail. We're talking about each one of you coming out here to learn, to contribute. You're making an investment in your community by being here tonight. So that's some of what the investment that we're talking about in building this trail. Um, and I just want to kind of start opening, we'll say thank you, of course, to everyone. And um, I want to just get an idea of how many people have questions. Um, if anyone can raise their hand if they have a question. So we can see. Raise them high so we can see them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>